Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see row actions in Lightning data table. In Salesforce Lightning Web Component, we can use Lightning Web Com uh, <coughs> Lightning Table, and we can have row actions. So here I am using View and Edit as my row actions. So let's see how to build this Lightning uh, uh, Web Component uh, Lightning Data Table with row actions. So for this demo, I created a simple class. Account controller is the name, and I have a method called fetch accounts where I have string search key as the parameter. So once this parameter is uh, passed, I'm constructing the key using a percentage symbol um, before and after so that if the keyword whatever the users are entering it will match even if it is between the word I am not using start uh, I am using between so between uh, the account name if anything matches with the keyword what the user enters it will be matched and then it will return so I am using select id comma name and industry from account object where name like um, the search key which was entered and limit I am setting it 10 okay next in my lightning web component I'm using lightning data table and I'm using key field as ID data as accounts columns as columns attribute which I will show when we talk about the JavaScript and I'm using hide checkbox equal to true show row number column equal to true because I don't want to show the checkbox in each row and also the row number in each row and on row action I will be calling this method called handle row action before that I have a lightning input and whenever the user enters something it will call this handle key change so we are going to see these two methods so when the user enters something this method will be called and when the user clicks the row action this method will be called if there are any error it will show that error okay so here I am using the fetch accounts which is my class from this particular apex class so from account controller I'm calling this uh, method fetch accounts so I'm using the same name here so that I can call that method and I'm declaring a constant variable with actions as the variable name where I will have view and edit so I'm going to use two actions one is view and the other one is edit and columns I am declaring it as a constant variable where I will be using name industry and the third instead of label I'm using type as action and type type attributes for type attributes I'm using the row actions value as actions so this constant value will be passed so I will be able to see name industry and in the next column I will be able to see a drop down where I will be able to see two actions one is view and, and the other one is edit okay so on handle key change so whenever the user enters something this particular method will be called where I'm calling fetch accounts uh, apex method from the sample uh, from the account controller apex class and then I'm returning this dot accounts equal to result so I will return all the accounts which are matching the uh, search key okay and the next important thing here is handle row action so whenever the user clicks view or edit this particular method will be called called handle row action so as per this uh, on row action this handle row action will be called and here I am getting what action they clicked whether it is a view or whether it is edit based on that I am I'm, I'm using such statement to um, go inside so if they have clicked view then what will happen is 
I am using navigation mixin. So here I have uh, imported navigation mixin, which is a, a standard uh, Lightning Web Component feature, and then I'm extending my Lightning Web Component to the navigation mixin. Okay, and whenever they click view, the row ID is passed. That is nothing but I'm getting the row also from here event.detail.row action name event.detail.action.name so based on that I'm passing the ID of the record which they clicked and then it will view it if they clicked edit it will open and allow us to edit the account record so for this demo I created a lightning tab So here, let me refresh it. So I searched for INF. So it is bringing my infallibility key account record. I can view or edit. So I can edit and I'm going to change the status, um, sorry, industry to uh, banking. And then I'm going to click save. So now I'm going to refresh it. So now if I search, I will be able to see the banking. If you want to view it instead of editing, you can click view action. I will share the code snippet in my blog post. Please check the video description for my uh, uh, blog post. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.